do you realize that it has been 828 days since Sony stood on stage at the PlayStation 4 reveal and announced that one of the benefits of buying a PS4 on day one, one of the benefits of being a PS Plus member is that you were going to get a free version of what they called at the time one of the most highly anticipated racing games there was. And this free version was going to launch at the same time the paid version did. Let me remind you of this timeline real quick. Let, let's step back real quick and really grasp just how shady this whole ordeal has been. Because they stood on stage February 20th, 2013 and announced Drive Club saying that it was going to be there for PS4's launch. The PS Plus edition was going to be there at the same time. I mean, this was a major marketing factor. You go back, you listen to a lot of the reasons to buy a PS4, Sony kept on reminding you of this. You don't think people bought PS4s because of this? So then, one month before the PlayStation 4 actually releases, then they come out and announce that the game's been delayed. Sony says the game's going to be coming out early 2014, which usually means before March 31st of the next year. So then, March rolls around, and we got another delay. In April, you had one of the directors for the game come out and say that the delay had everything to do with a menu system. Yes, a menu system. Not the online capabilities that apparently have blown donkey balls but the menu. In May, there was an interview with the design director where he talked about how they could have actually released the game back last year. They could have released it back whenever the PlayStation actually did launch. But, you know, things didn't work out. They wanted to make the very best game they could. I don't mind delays. Don't get me wrong. But we're talking about a year delay here. He was also bragging in that same interview, talking about how the online infrastructure of PSN was so strong that they were going to be able to deliver the PS Plus edition of the game whenever the paid version actually came out. Then the game finally releases on October 7th, 2014. Let me ask you this. Do you honestly think that a game that was delayed for an entire year was anywhere near being close to launching the previous year. Do you think Sony really only knew a month before the PlayStation 4 was released that the game wasn't ready? Because if you do, I've got a bridge to nowhere I'd like to sell you. So the game launches. Been promoted, been marketed this whole time that the PS Plus edition was going to be launching the same day as release. Release day rolls around, and all you heard was crickets. Silence. For weeks, nobody knew what was going on until October the 31st, they finally announced that the PS Plus edition had been delayed. After it was, you know, pretty much obvious <laughs> that it had been delayed, but it was delayed till further notice. And here we are, six months after the fact. Still waiting on that notice. Oh, oh, Dragon, why are we talking about Drive Club? You know, that game's old. Just let it go. Just let it go. Yeah, the game is old. That car left the garage a long time ago. But can you imagine if Microsoft, you know, those greedy bastards at Microsoft, what if they had announced a game would be free to live members? They had used that as a marketing tool to push sales of their console, and then they waited a month before release to delay it. And then they delayed it again a few times for a full year, making you buy the game after promising a free version, and then continuing to drag you on, wanting you to get to buy the game first, since it didn't do so hot in the reviews. Do you think everybody would have just let it go? Because I have a hard time believing that. I don't think anybody would have let it go. I think we'd still be hearing about it constantly. So why is it that Sony got a free pass? Sony got a free pass with this. 
It was supposed to be PS Plus members who got the free pass, but it was actually Sony who walked away with the marketing, with dragging this on forever. Now, the PS Plus edition is still going to be coming, I'm sure of that. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to hear an announcement about it at E3. Which, honestly, I think that kind of sucks if they do, because that means they have been dragging on the announcements for this game since 2013. I mean, literally milking it for every last dime they possibly can. And I would prefer that they don't waste stage time talking about an older game. But, I mean, I'm not going to be surprised if it happens. If you ask me the way this has been handled, it shouldn't be a glorified demo that they give out now. I think anything less than giving PS Plus members the game for free is pretty shady. I mean, we've all been lied to. We've all been led on for a long time. And anyways, I mean, I think this video is way overdue. I, I kept waiting and I kept waiting thinking that the game would eventually be out by now and Sony would have delivered what they promised over 800 days ago. But since they haven't, I mean, I honestly feel somebody's got a responsibility to speak up for those who actually want to hold companies accountable. And Sony deserves to be held accountable. Forget that it's an older game. Forget whether you like it or not and you think people should go out and buy it. Which if you're in that crowd and you are one of those people, which I've read plenty of, who think that you should go out and buy it and that Sony doesn't even really, you know, they're not required to give you anything... If you believe that, I think your love of plastic has definitely clouded your judgment, and you're crazy. It's about principle. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.